So politics becomes a key part of this relationship between consumers and brands in that brands may take political positions, consumers may try to fund their um, political objectives by buying certain products and avoiding others. So it really becomes a complex uh, landscape for brands to navigate. Because of what's played out recently with Facebook and Cambridge Analytica, there's an increased awareness of what data is being collected about consumers without their complete knowledge. So as a, a lot of the conversation was spurred by the use of consumer data in a, by a political uh, organization, we're going to see that m make its way back over to the traditional marketing environment and marketers are going to have to contend with the fallout um, because of the revelations that we've seen recently in politics. So do we take a stand, do we not take a stand? If we get dragged into a political issue, what do we do? Those questions haven't been answered yet. But then you sort of become this target, in a sense, or maybe even a symbol of a political position. So you're not necessarily just your product or your brand anymore. You've now become this sort of identity or this symbol of, uh, of whether you support or you oppose a certain political position.